Squeeze or two. Yeah. <coughs> Good afternoon. Hey, what are you doing? Before any of you ask, yes, that is an iPhone SE. No, I didn't pay for it. It's a work phone. I had no choice. Didn't mean for it to be in the shop, but then by the time I saw it, it was all done. So I was like, F it, dude. 2019 has both brought <coughs> has both brought me a sinus infection, a horse voice box, and one UI for the Note 8. This is the Qualcomm Verizon version of the Note 8, and it has the December patch on it too. Make sure if you do have that, that's the easiest way to. Ooh, that's hot. Hmm. Well, that's nice. There are links in the description that will take you to xdadevelopers.com to find the links for this. There are two different ways you could do it. <coughs> One person in the comments of that article said that if you have the December patch, you don't need to use Odin, which means that if you have an SD card, a micro SD card in your phone, you could download just the zip file and put it in the root directory on your SD card, like not in any folder, just like in the card. Turn it off, boot into recovery, and then update from SD, boom, you're, you're good. Like it's, it's pretty badass. If you are not familiar with how to put your phone into recovery mode, here's how to do it. First, turn your phone off, hold the power, the volume up and the Bixby button down, and then wait and wait and wait. You'll see something that says no command. It'll look like there's a problem, there's not. Then use the volume keys to go down to update from SD, hit the power button. And from there, you should be able to see the file that you downloaded and put into the SD cards directory. It'll be the same name as it was when you downloaded it. When you find it, highlight it and hit the power button. And there you go. My efforts to record video of me actually going to the page that the link in the description leads to have been foiled. So <coughs> here's a picture of where you need to go. The link that you need to download. If you don't already have Odin 3.13.1, grab that and grab the second one. If you go to settings and go down to about phone and then go to software information, if yours says this, if your phone is then with a Snapdragon processor, and if it is with Verizon, then what I'm about to show you will work. It worked for me. I have one UI on my phone. Wouldn't steer y'all wrong on purpose. But anyway, yes, it works. Like the video on this webpage suggests, I would definitely do a backup with so smart switch or whichever backup methods you like to use. It turns out I didn't need it because nothing got wiped. But just in case, it's probably a good idea. Again, you don't even need Odin to do this if you have that December 1st security patch. If you don't have the December 1st security patch, then download all three of those links that's on that page. Watch that video too. It's not mine, but it gives you something visual to follow and it helps me just to make damn sure that I'm not f***ing something up just because this kind of stuff scares me. I haven't done an unofficial thing like this in a long time, but I really f***ing wanted one UI and now I have it and so I'm happy. One of the guys in the comments said that the one you it said the one you posted is Sprint Software. That was not my experience. It actually it actually put Verizon uh, one or two pieces of Verizon bloatware back on my phone. That was I could get rid of easily. That wasn't a problem. But this guy's saying it was Sprint Software. So I think what's happening is it's just software that will go with that will put a couple of bloatware apps respective to the carrier that your phone has. I think it's I think it's compatible with all of them. But again, I don't know because I don't have other phones from other carriers to test it with. I have since been pouring the f over one UI like <coughs> like a kid in a candy store, and it's amazing. So pretty! Oh my god! <laughs> there will be multiple videos coming from this. So by the time the S10 comes out. I'll have a whole suite of videos suited for acclimating oneself to the very swift learning curve of one UI. The author of that article on XDA Developers is Max Weinbach. I don't know the guy personally, but I figured it would be best to give him some credit because I'm intensely thankful for him putting this together and giving me those links because I have no idea where they came from. But 
I have one UI now and I didn't 24 hours ago. So that's pretty f***ing pimping. You know what else is pimping is the Scotties on Patreon. <laughs> the ones who pay $10 a month, and they are Stuart Glover, Kyler, Spidget, Robert Bader to Tinder Law, Anthony Jackson, Eric Price, Stephen Nichols, Nick Hawks, Sin O, Unit Omega, and Christopher Caswell. Lisa, I stay with my Scotties. My Scotties are my boys. I ride with them. And I put that on the generation. And then we have the Beamers, the ones who pay $5 a month, and they are Grant Stockton and Paradoxed. And last but most certainly not least, we. We have the Beamers, the ones that pay $1 a month. And those are Josh Utley, Encrypted Bunny. Ramon Santos changed his name to Rico the 13th. Cool. <coughs> Roman Van Rukhuizen. Nicholas Clark David Larson. Ooh, almost messed up his last name. And Elixir. Stay waiting for more One UI stuff from me and stay beaming. And stay well because this sucks. <coughs>